Hi all, welcome you all to Econometrica. I am Kavya. Now we will discuss the class in the class. We will discuss the indifference curve. Now we will discuss the indifference curve. We will discuss the MCQs. Now we will discuss the indifference curve. 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 If you want to share the video, please comment on your video. If you want to share the video, an indifference curve represents combination of two goods that provides the same level of satisfaction, the demand curve for a good, the supply curve for a good, the marginal cost of production. And the right answer is option A, combination of two goods that provide same level of satisfaction. Next question, the slope of an indifference curve is called marginal rate of transformation, marginal rate of substitution, marginal cost and marginal utility. And the right answer is option B, marginal rate of substitution. Next question, which of the following is not a property of indifference curve? They slope downwards from left to right. They never intersect each other. They are concave to the origin. Higher indifference curve represents higher satisfaction level. Which of the following is not a property of indifference curve? And the right answer is they are concave to the origin. Convex are very good. Yes. Next question, the principle of diminishing marginal rate of substitution means the consumer prefers more of both goods. The consumer sacrifices less of one good to obtain an extra unit of other good. Consumer sacrifices more of one good to obtain an extra unit of the other good. Consumer's utility decreases. And the right answer is option B, Anna. Consumer sacrifices less of one good to obtain an extra unit of the other good. Next question, if two indifference curve intersect, it violates the assumption of transitivity of preferences, completeness of preferences, rational behavior of consumer, diminishing marginal utility. If two indifference curves intersect, it violates the assumption of, and the right answer is option A, transitivity of preferences. Next question, the shape of an indifference curve depends on the consumer's income, the price of goods, the consumer's preferences and the marginal rate of substitution, the production possibility curve. And the right answer is option C, consumer's preferences and the marginal rate of a substitution. Next question, when an indifference curve is straight, it indicates that the two goods are perfect complements, perfect substitutes, inferior goods and given goods. When an indifference curve is straight, it indicates that the two goods are, and the right answer is perfect, substitutes. Last question, when an indifference curve forms a right angle, it represents perfect substitutes, given good, inferior good and perfect complements. And the right answer is option D, perfect complements. I hope this is clear for all. Thank you.